Hey buddy, today I was designing a home page and I used the CSS3 border radius property to achieve an effect that I had to use an image to achieve in the past. I got all dorky and excited about it and now I'm recording this video because I just stumbled onto the fact that I could do this without images now using CSS3 and that makes me very happy. So in this very quick design tip, I'm going to share a pure CSS3 trick to get a floating content shadow effect under specific visual content. Okay, first let's explain what we have in this example before we add the effect. Let's take a look at it first actually. You can see I have a video that's rendered to the center of this page. And the video element, the iframe element for that video, is placed into a box called video box. And in my CSS, you can see that I'm centering that video box and giving it a width of 560. So it has a width of 560 and it's centered by assigning auto for the left and right margins. For my top margin, I have 100 pixels. My bottom margin is 0 pixels. So that's why you see the box is 100 pixels off the top. And it's centered in the page. Okay, so that's all I've got here. Now right under the iframe for the embedded video, I'm going to add this div with a class of oval shadow. Now up in the CSS, I'm going to add this rule to affect this element with these properties. And you can add this div to the page as many times as you like with the class of oval shadow. If you made this an ID, you couldn't add that as many times as you like. But just make sure you add it using class and you can use it over and over again on the page. So let's take a look at it real quick. And there's the finished effect. It gives you an oval shadow underneath any kind of content, visual content that you might have on the page and it makes that content appear to be floating. Now let's discuss the properties real quick for that little box or that div. Background of a very very light gray. And you can also make that a solid black if you want and then adjust opacity settings for this div. You can make the opacity something like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 and that'll give you a transparent shadow. But in most cases you could probably just use a solid color without transparency. So I'm just using a solid light gray color because my page is white. Now here is the trick. This is what made the oval effect, the border radius property. And you set that to 100%. So it kind of makes like a circled effect around the whole element. And since we only have a height of 16 pixels and the element is very wide, you can see it stretches that circular effect and makes an oval nicely. So border radius is really doing the magic here. And we set margin top 24 pixels. That way that uh, shadow isn't touching the content. It has to have some space away from the content to give the appearance of floating. And if you guys like this video and you like this concept, I can take it one step further with you and make another video. Now what I'll show you to do in the next video is to program an animation to make this content float and actually animate to make it actually float in midair. So you can make a cool animation effect if you animate both of these elements. You make this visual content float up and down real smooth and then you make this shadow width property animate. So you animate its width property to correspond with the animation of this element going up and down which is a really cool advanced visual effect that I'll show you guys but only if you like the crap out of this video. And give me a comment too man. Let me know that you want to see it and I'll do it. If not I'm just going to go about my merry way.